turkey wings. These are the smoked turkey wings that I've been boiling. I am going to uh, put the string beans in now, string beans and onion. And I'm going to put some chicken flavor and maybe a chicken bouillon cube. Um, I'm quite sure yet. I got to get this, this stuff out, this fatty stuff. Hold on, y'all. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut some onion up in here. No particular size or I found one that still had the end on it. So you see this part right here? This is the part that you mostly took off. This part is fine. That part doesn't bother you to eat, but the other part. So what I'm adding right here is just a little white pepper and I added some uh, stuff called magic salt. You know me and my girl, guys. I did add a tablespoon of garlic. See that big? Y'all, these are uh, the ingredients. Well, I'm making uh, zucchini. This tomato here, my son gave me some. To, and here's a bowl of other things. You know, tomato. Look at this. So focusing our attention over here, our attention. I ended up putting baby bella mushrooms in. So I have in here asparagus. Uh, there'll be fresh tomatoes from someone's garden. I have baby bella, baby bella, baby bella mushrooms. So, okay, the seasoning that you see on here is I added some uh, powdered ginger. I added some, I added uh, some turmeric. That's right. Turmeric. Turmeric, however you pronounce it. So, I also added Italian blend seasoning. Bay. Moving on down to the stream beans with the smoked turkey. Woo-wee. Baby. Mmm. Oh. If you could smell them, if you could smell them. I love string beans and turkey. I can eat them with potato or not, you know, but I could eat this with some hot sauce, call it a day. I don't need cornbread either. I mean, okay guys, so this is the, uh, it actually turned into a curry dish. <laughs> I ended up putting curry in it. Uh, red pepper i did put a little brown sugar a little brown raw sugar i put italian seasoning in it i did for the color like i said but i put uh turmeric and ginger a little um cumin so it is going to be a curry dish and back here i'm going to be making some rice right now i'm frying some um these are turkey burgers. I'm going to make turkey burgers and gravy. Those are the string beans. It's just a little like multitask type of video. So yeah, uh, I made cupcakes earlier. So I'm trying to do these things, wrap it up because I got a lot to do y'all. But I just wanted to, this right here over rice, maybe with some stewed chicken. You can just pair it with anything. You can eat it plain. You can eat it with rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes. I would throw sweet potatoes in here if I had them, but I don't. So I won't. Okay, guys, this is this here. So, yeah, like I said, I put sasson only because I had a pack open. I made a gravy. I had onion already cut up in pepper. So, of course, I used it for um, the turkey burgers with gravy. So, this is a nice quick meal, too. If you just need something really, really, really fast to cook, you can always cook turkey burgers from the freezer to the pan. You don't have to defrost them or anything from the freezer to the pan and then let it make a, you know, or make a gravy with it or not. You can simply have it, you know, you can pair it with any anything on this stove. Uh, but these are just uh, different meals that I wanted to do today. It's a multitasking meal video.
I'm going to add a little Worcestershire, um, Worcestershire sauce to the gravy. It gives a good taste. Just the seasonings alone was good enough, but. Okay, so being as though everything is done and I'm making, I'm sharing these platters today. I am going to, this is the rice, this mighty rice, which I'm going to put a burger on, a turkey burger on each one and gravy. Guys, these are the few meals that I made today. The turkey with uh, stream beans, smoked turkey wings with stream beans, the mixed veggies that I had, and the rice, the smotty rice, turkey burger and gravy. I'm about to uh, share, I'm about to share. Okay, and here's my plate. This is a turkey burger with gravy, with onion and pepper, bell pepper, all that's optional. The bismati rice with basil, just salt and butter in it. And then the mixed veggies that I have. Everything will be listed in the description below. Thank you for stopping by one more time to watch an easy meal be made, although it was a couple in one. I thank you. If you don't mind sharing, if you don't mind subscribing, liking, I'd appreciate it. Thank you again for coming by. Stay safe. Assalamu alaikum. Bon appetit.